This is why I started gaming. For the longest time, I thought gaming was for losers. And I still do, if you spend all day on it. But I had a realization and it changed everything. I had just read Ready Player One. It was an amazing book about a loser kid in the future. In this future, the whole world has moved online through virtual reality. This kid, he spends all day chatting to his online friends and playing games and, you know, stuff like that. But he's eventually able to use his online gaming skills to find success, happiness, la di da di da And I figured something out while reading it that we are heading into that kind of future. A future where online skills may become more important or at least on par with real life skills. VR, virtual reality, you know, headsets. All of that will be everywhere in years to come. Education, medicine, surgery, it already is in surgery. Exploration. We've started sending drones places now. You've got to be able to use the drone. Online skills are becoming really important so after reading that book i decided to buy a playstation maybe these skills will come in handy one day that's not the real reason is it no it's definitely not let me explain the real reason the real reason i bought a playstation is to control myself as a person i am very energetic i get bored really easily i love to be outside experiencing new things meeting new people i hate sitting in the same place doing nothing or doing the same thing over and over again some doctors might even say that i have borderline adhd but i would never box myself in like that what would happen is that i'll finish a long week of studying placement seeing patients working revising talking about medicine you know uni things and then it would get to friday night my options for fun were limited i feel like i can't let go i don't drink alcohol don't do drugs don't go out clubbing so what am i to do my idea of fun is to go out to explore new places try out different foods smell new smells hear new sounds literally if i could i would go on holiday every week just for the day just to relieve the tension and then i'd be straight back into it ready to go ready to learn all of that pizzazz but as a broke student with no car and a bike with currently no wheels, all I could really do was go to town in the city I lived in. And that was great for a while. I just walk around, chat to strangers, buy things. But that got boring after a while. And the other problem with exploring new towns, I mean, I can just get the train, is that you spend all day exploring, all day going out. That means you, when you get back home, you're not in the mood to study, you're tired. You spent all this money and you just sat there like, oh, I can't be bothered. So I needed a way to relax myself that didn't involve time or money. And the solution was clear, get a PlayStation. The benefits were there. It would give me something to look forward to. I can explore virtual worlds at the expense of the real world and it was at home so i could just press the off button and then start studying it actually turned out perfectly as a 24 year old young man as my grandma likes to say i was past the age of spending hours on the playstation i had mastered the art of going on for an hour and then turning it off this meant i was a lot more relaxed overall i actually ended up doing more work when i got the playstation because i wasn't in some village off the coast all day too tired to study i could just press a button and then i'd be transported to a new place with new things to experience i could even do anki while the game was loading the moral here is know thyself if I was a serial gamer or had even shown signs of gaming addiction, it would have been stupid to buy a PlayStation because I'd have just spent all my time on it. But as someone who's never really been into gaming, it was actually the perfect solution. I still love exploring and going to new places. But while I'm at uni, I have to be sensible. And PlayStation is how I deal with my adventure withdrawal symptoms. So how do I cap myself not to spend too much time on it? Simply... I get bored of gaming. Truly, 
an efficient system. That's why I bought a PlayStation. Now, I know what you're thinking. This wouldn't work for me. I've been addicted to gaming. PlayStation would just make me more likely to waste time. And it's really important to know yourself, to know your limits, to know what you can handle. I knew that I needed something to kind of let go of life, to leave this universe and enter a new one. Because that's the type of person I am. I get bored with things very easily and I need an escape even if it's just temporary. The way I did it was by buying a gaming console. There are multiple ways you can let go. It's not just gaming. You can let go via alcohol, drugs, traveling. You can have a baby. You can make a baby. There's actually quite a lot of things you can do to let go and relax yourself. R remove yourself from the state of mind you're in and enter a new one. I chose one that for me was the most sensible. As a Muslim guy, as a uni student, it just seemed like the best option. And I'm very glad to say it was. This is not an advertisement for you to buy a PlayStation. No, it's more a reminder that sometimes things that might not work for some people will work for others not all of my advice will be helpful to you specifically to you it might not but this is how i dealt with this problem and it can only serve as a reminder for what could help you why is it important to leave our current state of being and enter a new one well think about it if you're in a specific state all of the time you're gonna eventually get burnt out especially if you're being constantly challenged and stressed out like uni does to me so you need to find Find a way to let go just for a day on the weekend so that you can get back to it fresh and ready to go. Now, a lot of people choose to go out clubbing and to drink alcohol and to let go of their worries in that way. I'm not here to diss anybody, but I don't think that's a good idea. A lot of the time, you forget things that happened on the night, but there are multiple other reasons. A lot of them involve making mistakes that you don't mean to do. The alternatives are plenty you just have to find them now i am aware that very few self-improvement youtubers or other content creators ever recommend gaming in any way like gaming is the anti-self-improvement activity to do one of the biggest reasons is the release of dopamine because when you're achieving fake tasks and receiving fake points in the game your brain is tricked into thinking you're actually achieving something in the real world our brain doesn't know any better so you're tricking your brain and over reliance on that means that in the real world you will be an underachiever and all your accomplishments will be in the virtual world in ready player one this was actually a great thing because the real world moved to the online world but we're not quite there yet so it's very important that if you do game to make sure you're doing doing even more in the real world. As a med student who makes content, I already have enough to do in the real world. So when I wanna log on to Assassin's Creed, do chariot races, that's absolutely fine because I've already made two videos that day. Hopefully I've revised that day and I've probably gone to my lectures or to my placement. So it's very important to know your limits and to know what works for you and what doesn't. Another reason why gaming is looked down upon is just because it's a massive waste of time. And the fix to that, very simply, is just limit yourself. On your phone, you can limit your access to certain apps using screen time. You can't do the same on PlayStation, but it's important to hold yourself accountable. Don't play any more than you have to. And if you find yourself playing any more than you should, remember, you are probably running away from your problems. I've been there, you've been there, we all have been there. The most important thing is that you don't lie to yourself. Be honest. If something is bothering you, sit yourself down and have that conversation. <sighs> Hello there. Yes, I, I don't feel too good today. Oh, why is that? Well, you know, I have this problem and I need solving. Okay, let's sit down and figure out how to fix this. Dialogue, communication. It's not just in relationships. Remember, you are in a long-term relationship with yourself. Yes, you should love yourself more than you love anyone else because you spend the most time with yourself. Therefore, if you find yourself escaping anything through gaming or another way, then open the dialogue. Figure out what the problem is. Fix it 
and I guarantee, I guarantee your life will get better. And that's all from me today. If you like this sort of content, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Nouruddin and I will see you later.